Ah, lunch time. Yeah. Favourite time of day, Henry? How are you getting on, bud? Yeah, good. I've got chocolate today. Quite oh. looking forward to that. Oh, lovely. Ah, I tell you what, Chris. Did you see the other day that video on GCN where Dan and Cy kind of laid into mountain biking a bit? Yeah, I did actually. And I was really surprised. I thought it was really good. Oh, I mean, it, it was, was so good, good because, because it, it was, was so ridiculous. True. What? Oh. Your big man bike's even got road wheels on it these days. It's not a man bike anymore, is it? You don't know what you're talking about. Big 700c wheels on a man bike. You'll do anything Cannondale guys oh, do. Oh, oh, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you just love Taylor Finney. You love him so much. I'm here in the beautiful Cotswolds with the unabidable Chris Opie. A few weeks ago, we had a bit of a falling out and I just thought, this isn't right, having friends divided over something so silly. I am here in these spectacular hills around Stroud to settle a score with the unbearable Henry Quinney. You see, a couple of weeks ago, we got into a little disagreement and I thought it was such a shame to fall out over something so arbitrary. I arranged something of a peace summit and Chris, even as a guest in my humble abode, couldn't help himself and we quickly got into a heated discussion. He had a rage in his heart that not even my homemade moussaka could quell. And what was it? What was the cause of his ire? Well, it was a committal to a dangerous ideology, gravel biking. I offered something of a peace summit, but Henry, even as a guest in my family home for dinner, kept on trying to stick the knife in. And we got into a fierce debate, driven by anger and hate that not even my homemade lasagna could quell. As I pragmatically suggested that all bikes are indeed gravel bikes, he became enraged. He threw his Pinot Noir into my wife's face, grabbed his jacket off the hook, where I so carefully left it to dry, and stormed off into the night. As I gently suggested that gravel bikes do indeed have their place, he became enraged. He threw his cheap lager into my wife's face. He whipped his jacket off the hook, where I had so carefully left it to dry, and he stormed off into the night. I naturally was both shocked and appalled, but I'm not interested in indulging his menace. I naturally was both appalled and shocked, but I am not going to indulge in his petty nitpicking. Today, I wanna to heal some wounds and bridge some divides. So we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna have a nice ride. I'm here to heal some wounds and bridge some divides. We're gonna go for a ride and it's gonna be a good ride. Not even And not even Chris, Henry, gravel McGee, grinding Opie can, can get, get in, in the way, way of that. What are you doing here? What are you filming? Uh, we're out doing the... Uh, had to get legs like Chris Opie GCN video. Whew. We said we'd meet here at 10 o'clock. What are you doing here? How to cope with Chris Opie's unabidable ego. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty big. I'll see you back here at 10. 10 o'clock. You bring some big legs, Henry. Oh, I'll bring the only legs I've got. One hour later. No gears there, mate. <laughs> we decided to do the climb together before getting our ride underway. Check out my drop handlebars. So, let's get this ride started in earnest. We've already got our route planned, it's all downloaded. Yep. Just start the engines and away we go. The record's an hour and 40, Henry. Oh, good God. Don't know about that. Don't you guys just drink soy lattes? Isn't that the deal? No. Espresso. <laughs> Oh, a bit of a narrow bit here, but after you. Well, no, I insist after you. I don't know if your tyre's going to fit is that narrow. Oh, you yeah. better go first. That's a very clever joke. After you. No, no. You know all about World Cup downhills, Henry. You go first. He's just such a nice man. Can I just say the choice of your bike? I mean, it's not a road bike, but I think it was very sensible to bring something that is a road bike, even though it's not a road bike. For the, yeah. for the hills, it's perfect. It's a lovely colour as well, isn't it? It is indeed. Just like your full-on downhill rig there, Henry. I mean, it's perfectly suited to the terrain we're currently riding on. I mean, so and it's red. Someone as wise as yourself, I have to take that, Chris, because you are a very sensible man. That's my middle name, Chris Sensible Opie. Oh, is it? I thought it was gravel grinding. <laughs> <laughs> there are um, a lot of doggers about today. Well, it's quite normal in this part of the world, Henry, actually. Well, I've heard it's a bit of a hot spot, eh? I mean, there's Labradors, sausage dogs, everything. Uh, yeah. I think you may have misinterpreted something there, Henry. 
Well, they've got dogs and they're dog walkers. It's, it's, it's slang for dog walker. If that's what you want to believe. Right, okay. I've just heard it's really, really popular. I think you're missing something though. Do you ever collect dog eggs, Henry? Dog eggs, what are they? Dog eggs, they're like uh, chocolate festive Yule logs. Oh, wow. Yeah. And are they sourced locally? Oh, skills. All right, you go that way. Low life, I'm taking the moral high ground. Great brakes on a gravel bike. Well, I tell you what, mate, it's a good thing you're not on a road bike. You know what? I was thinking just that, because this road is out, and this is where this ride properly gets going. Basically an ATV. It's incredible machinery. I don't think even Jeff the Jeep Blake's one could get down here. No, I think you're right. I mean, it's a good job that I've got this. This is to road biking what Jeff the Jeep is to cars. <gasps> Sacre bleu! I tell you what, mate, I'm actually, dare I say it, having a lovely time. I told you, gravel was amazing. <laughs> it's actually really nice just to be swinging around. Oh, bit of a bridge here, after you, mate. Well, you're gonna have to get off a walk, your bars won't fit. I insist, after you. No, 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 Chris, come on now, after you. What, no, no, please, dismount and carry on. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow it, after you. Well, the only way to settle this. The only way. The only way is we'll just go at the same time. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, ready? Three, breathe in. Two, one, go. Let me just get my handlebars in there. Yeah, you've got big wide bars on you. Just easy does it. All right. Easy does I it. I feel like oh. I'm going to hit the stinging nails in a minute. Oh that's my cool. God. Might this. bring my hands in <laughs> to the middle. Oh yeah. Mate, I'm, oh, getting, yeah. I'm nearly hitting We're the thing. actually going to do this. Oh my God. Yes. Literally. Yes. yes. Whoa, man, it's cost nothing. Woo. Yo. <laughs> I tell you what, the one bit of a, uh, gravel road riding culture I can really get on board with is uh, all the coffee and cake. How does that sound? I think right now would be the perfect time to stop. Straight into the bike rack. Right, it's going to go and pay. No, no, let, let me go and pay. No, 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 no. it's no, absolutely honestly, fine. Please, Henry, it's my sit, treat. You, sit, no, no, you sit, sit down. down. You sit down. Why are your quads so strong? Just, God, oh, damn it. That's all those squats I did. How outrageous. Let me pay my treat. How about we split the bill? 60-40. We'll call it 60-40. Henry, it's good of you to pay 60%, but I left him a 30 quid tip. Oh, you piece of... Where are we going? Gravel grinding OP? Up the hill. Oh, Up there, turn left, I think. Smashing. <laughs> Henry, I'm so glad I gave you that coffee. It's really kicking in on this climb. <laughs> Thanks, coach. And I'm you know, struggling for traction myself. Yeah, I was gonna say, how gnarly do you go on gravel bikes? Well, this descent is probably the limit, to be honest, if you wanna go fast. But it's still pretty cool, gets you out in the open, I guess. Gets you out and about. I mean, those flats, how are they working for you? Oh, I love flats, flat pedals, TID, absolutely love them. So, you're obviously Predominantly a road cyclist. I am, Henry. Now, what's your way? Do you do much gravel biking? Is it something you enjoy? Well, a little bit. I quite enjoyed my day out with Steve Jones back in May or June. When oh, we did yeah. EMBM versus gravel. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And I've seen you guys get up into some pretty cool trips in Iceland and all sorts. I think even Neil joined you for that one of those. Uh, yeah, didn't he go with Si and they did some bike packing and a little bit of off road gravel riding? Yeah, See, it so cool. I think the thing about these bikes is it's a gateway a gateway drug to actual mountain biking. <laughs> yeah, because a... I'm on this and it's really cool, but I know that I'd be a lot happier if I had a full on mountain bike and we yeah. could actually tackle some gnarlier trails. Yeah, it's pretty cool there. I mean, cross country, I think both to us is a form of riding that we actually just really, really enjoy. Yeah, because you go places, you see stuff that you don't see if you're doing just runs up and down a hill or if you're out for a walk and stuff, because you, you just don't go very far. But on a cross country mountain bike, you can do 40, 50, 60 miles 
and you see loads of stuff and you hit loads of really cool trails that you just don't get to otherwise. Exactly, exactly. On a day like this as well, not too shabby, eh? It's not bad, is it? Oh, cow pat. <laughs> Country pancake. <laughs> A lot more doggers turning up in this neck of the woods, eh? Yeah, well, I guess, you know, it's rife, basically. Rife in this part of the, part of the world. I mean, I've seen, I've seen all sorts. Lots of uh, nice little fellas uh, and lady, lady dogs, I guess. Um, we've seen spaniels, we've seen <laughs> labradors. We've seen all sorts. It's been I wonder where you're going with that. I still kind of feel like you're not getting the point about dogging, Henry. I think we need a little chat. Okay. It's a good trails here, isn't it? Should we get going? Yeah, let's get going. It's a bit more mountain bike here, a bit more your terrain and a bit less this, because I kind of feel like we've done a lot of gravel-esque riding. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get into it. Come on. You've mentioned dogging a few times today. Yeah. And I, as much as I've enjoyed you talking about it, right. I kind of feel like you've got the wrong end of the stick. Oh, I. It refers to something else. They do what in their cars? Yeah. And what are the dogs doing while they're in there? Oh, there are no dogs, Henry. I, just... I don't get it. And so is this like a club? Do you pay and display? That was phenomenal. So you look, much fun. I felt so economy. You look so business class. <laughs> what a smooth operator. You're going to be blush. Operator. Oh, <laughs> Henry. I reckon oh. we can find some more of that. I reckon we can. Let's do it. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, more single track. Yew. Did you get on that? Of course. Oh my God. What? There is nothing to see here. Get out of it. Ruining British countryside. Doggers, what are they like? Here with their labradoodles and spaniels. Outrageous. Come on, Henry, allow me to assist you. Oh my word, they said chivalry was dead. God, that's light for a downhill bike, isn't it, Henry? Not quite a downhill bike, but I like your enthusiasm. Thank you very much. Come on, to the right. See, it doesn't have to all be extreme. Extreme, look, check out that air. Oh my God, this guy. We seem to be working our way back on the road a bit. Well, that's what this thing's built for, isn't it? Just with knobbly tyres. <laughs> really efficient. A bit like your baggy trousers. They look great on the road. Oh, well, maybe not so quick, but a bit more modest. <laughs> Are we cracking on up there, bud? That's it. The final push to the very top. Oh, lovely. Your climbing is looking excellent today, Henry. <laughs> oh, such a nice man. Oh, the grip levels. So, you got a pedalling platform on that bike? A pedalling platform? This is fully rigid, Henry. Oh the ultimate pedalling platform. Oh, this is sabotage. Not that I've got any grip. <laughs> and now we're doing cyclocross. No, gravel, strictly gravel. <laughs> What's this? You're pushing? That's cheating. Mate. I need to work out my calves get. I'll buy you a coffee if you get straight up to the top. Straight up? Straight up. <laughs> See, you cyclocrossers or gravel riders think you've got a monopoly on carrying your bike up horrible things. But in mountain biking, there's no school like the old school. And sometimes we just got to earn our turns. Yeah, uh, I'm just happy that whatever goes up must come down. It looks like a wall from here. <laughs> it does look like a wall.
Ooh. King of the world stuff. <laughs> Literally on top of the world. I'm not sure if that was gravel or mountain biking, to be honest with you. I don't think it had anything to do with riding a bike at all. <laughs> that was just a scramble up the climb. Oh, look, almost at the top. That is literally the highest point of the ride. Let's do it. You first? Oh, what a nice guy. Yo! Oh, and there we go. Nice. Cheers I enjoy that, that. Man. that was a bloody good ride. Check out that view. Yeah. Not you can bad. literally see for miles. It's unreal. You know the best bit about this? Go on. It's downhill all the way back. Exclusively downhill. Almost exclusively downhill. Apart from the uphills. Yes. And the flat bits. Yes. <laughs> you know what, Chris? Gravel biking doesn't actually seem that bad. No. I'm sorry for the fight. I'm sorry for talking about you behind your back so much. I'm also sorry for running the website chrisnopi.com but that will be taken down with immediate effect. Wow, well, I didn't know about that. But Henry, oh. honestly, actually, I'm the one that should be sorry. Not only for my hurtful comments, but also for running and subsequently monetizing the Instagram page about how stupid you are. It's a spiteful action. I'll stop it immediately. No, and also, actually, I love riding any bike. It doesn't matter how knobbly or how slick the tires are. Well, I was actually thinking, you know, you're always going to be faster than me at the climbs, but maybe I've got more experience riding technical descent. So maybe I should be on the gravel bike and you should be on the full bouncer. That sounds like a plan, because actually, deep down, I love mountain biking. Ha! Where are you going? Swapsies? See you at the bottom? Uh, yeah, I mean, some of this is actually quite steep. Could we maybe, at the pub? Just when I'm starting to like the guy. Well, I tell you what, Chris, there's nothing like a stiff shandy at the end of a good ride. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been really, really good, and I think we've demonstrated there maybe is some harmony between yeah. XC and gravel biking. I mean, ultimately, we're just on bikes, aren't we? Yeah. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to stick with GMBN right now, check out my Leadville video that went out in September. And if you want something maybe in a similar sort of vein and watch me enrage the e-bike community, click down here for that one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.